we must not neglect the important dialogue or conversation we should have with our youngsters and youth to understand why there are these movements and why there are these kind of thinkings out there. What is the problem? What is the essence, the crux of the problem when it comes to people not practicing Islam? When it comes to people not praying Salatul Fajr? When it comes to people not wearing hijab? Maybe yes, we have now trivialized religion or ritualized religion to the extent that we have also taken out the spirit of it. Those who are calling out for only the spirit have neglected the form. And those sometimes calling for the form have neglected the spirit. Please understand what this means. There are parents who come to their children and say you must do something. You must do this and the other. And when you speak to them, the child or the youth, they say I don't know why I'm doing it. I'm just pushed towards doing it. And I am forced and scared if I don't do it. A few years ago, I sat with one of our community members in the United Kingdom, yes? And he stopped believing in God. He's now part of the LGBTQ++++ movement, yes? And now what is he saying? He says, when I was young, I used to come to mosque and my parents used to bring me, but the majlis was in another language. I could not understand. And when it was in English, I used to go home and ask my parents, why did the speaker say this? What does it mean? My parents used to say, you have no right to question the Mawlana. You do whatever he says. He says, I reached the age of 22. I said, this is not the religion I wish to be. It's not the God that I wish to worship. There is a danger if we neglect some of the conversation, some of the questions, some of the misconceptions, some of what is happening out there in the world.